It's big dog season. And you can't stay still because you want it. Mm hmm. Talk that talk, George. You still scraping your plate because you're hungry. Mm hmm. Talk that talk. Good morning. Today is Friday. It is July 19th. The year is 2024. Donald Trump completed his speech last night. In the midst of his speech, he, he, he keeps repeating that immigrants are taking black people's jobs, which is so I've noticed over the past year or so that a lot of black people on the, online on the internet attacking immigrant, immigrants and migrants who come into this country looking for a better life. Well, I'm not exactly sure why people think that these Hispanics and immigrants are taking jobs that should belong to black people, which I find just very odd. What is a black job? Um, I live in Atlanta there black people we have doctors we have lawyers we have business owners we have chefs we have cooks we have I can't think of any job that specifically black people only do you have police officers you have correction officers car salesmen you have practically every walk of life a black person is capable every job rather is a black person is, is capable or has or has worked that position whether it's management a restaurant or a corporate office or a bank so when these migrants and immigrants come here what jobs are he referring to because if he's talking about construction well i've built started building and renovating houses in the early 90s and the vast majority of contractors i dealt with were hispanics back then there were a few black as contractors there, and this was in Atlanta. And now, even now, it's just 30 years later, the vast majority of contracts I'm still working with are Latino and Hispanic. That was back, same thing as back going on in the 90s. I can't get with Donald Trump because of ignorant comments like that, because I don't know what is a black job. The only black job that we were regulated to that I know of was slavery, and we weren't paid for that. This is why I cannot vote for Donald Trump because he's just too ignorant for me. I don't understand the level of ignorance, and some of you all who are voting for Donald Trump, I don't even know if you even know what you're voting for. That man is just too ignorant for me. I can't. I cannot get with Donald Trump. And and as for the the immigrants coming across the border, do y'all not remember Donald Trump had the same problem when he was office? Do y'all remember that he was people were coming across the border and they decided to separate the parents from their kids? And them kids, some kids, children were never ever able to get back with their family, their mother and father, and they're still here in the United States. And the parents sometimes, in some instances, were sh deported. There are still kids from his er that era when he was in the White House where he separated these. These the same problem that Biden is having with people coming across the border. Well, it's been going on for at least thirty plus odd years. Same same problems under Biden, under Obama, under um, uh, Donald Trump, Obama. We go all, all the way back to even before Reagan got in office. Goes back to the 60s and the 70s, further than that. So I'm not exactly too sure. The United States has not put in any comprehensive immigration program to allow for immigrants to come here legally. That's why so many come here illegally because they, we don't have a, a comprehensive program where people can come here legally yet. One that works. I don't have nothing wrong. I personally don't have anything wrong with immigrants coming to this country. This country needs workers. Uh, immigrants come over here and they can work any job in any type of life. So I've, I have friends who are, who immigrated to this country who work in various types of jobs. Did they steal these jobs from black people? No, they did not take these jobs from black people. I, and when Donald Trump makes those type of racist comments, and that is a racist comment, when Donald Trump makes those types of racist comments, 
It does not sit. It doesn't sit well with me. I just I don't. One comment, but I will consistently remove from out of my YouTube channel or anything. On my, if someone is attacking these immigrants who are coming to the United States for a better life, who wouldn't want a better life? I don't like the way, another thing Donald Trump is consistently chir chirping on is the crime statistics for, for immigrants, which is so low. But he won't say nothing about the crime taking place at, with, with, uh, 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 here in this country where Americans raping and killing each other. You ain't got to go far to see that. I was literally just uh, on the online looking at some stories I was going to talk about. And I said, oh, try enough of the crime report already. I saw a report where a white man shot and killed all his family members. Those of you who support Trump and think that this country would be better off with a second term of Donald Trump are going to be in for one hell of a surprise. See, I don't give a fuck. I'm 54 years of age. I'll be around. I'm not going to be around here too much longer for the past 30 more years or whatever. But y'all put Trump in office. He's already showed you what he's about. I mean, the first four years, he's all, it's like you all forget all the chaos and confusion that took place under the Trump administration. For me, when Donald Trump lost an election... And what took place with Donald Trump after the election leading up to January 6th was enough for me to never vote for his ass. And I've never, somebody came on my page and said, weren't you a Trump supporter? Yeah, I've never, ever, 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 ever supported any Republican candidate. I can't stand none of them. I've never voted Republican, ever. Never, ever. Those of you who vote black and vote Republican, that's something off with your asses. But go ahead, do you vote who you want to, just freedom. I've never ever and will never vote Republican. I can't get with their policies. Too hateful. And then the Republican, the Republican Party to me is a party of nothing. Nothing. They don't do anything. They don't do nothing. You know, they, they ran out here, they fought so hard to get the abortion taken away, but they didn't do anything to help these families, to protect families, to, to help families who have children. And you, they don't want to give Medicaid. They don't want to do anything to help these people. It's just like you're out here on your own. I can't give up the Republicans' nonsense. Too hateful, too homophobic, too anti-everything. I can't give with it. Those of you who vote Republican, fine. I know I had no quite a few ignorant black folks who do vote Republican. Fine. Go vote Republican. That's what makes you happy. I cannot get with any of these. I've yet to see a Republican candidate that I would vote for, and I've been voting since I was a teenager. I have no interest in any of them. No. Black job, they're taking black girls' jobs. Okay. Ooh, the crazy mess. It's almost sad. Well, at least that part is their convention so we can get back to our normal because he was, every time I turned on the TV, I had to stare at them damn Republicans. I couldn't stand that mess. And they, they had some black woman on it yesterday. Oh, my goodness. Some correctional officer. I said, who is this ignorant woman? The stuff that comes out their mouths. The, the, the rate, I mean, Trump has not yet said what he's going to do to help Americans. He just, he just keeps going on and on and on and on and on. But what are you going to do? Where are your policies? What are you going to do to help black black people who live in this country? I ain't heard him say nothing yet. I haven't heard one thing come out of Donald Trump about, about what his policies are and what he's going to do when he gets in office. Nothing. He's talking about the immigrants. Well, they've been coming in forever. There is no logical and reasonable immigration policy in place to allow people to come here legally. There's just nothing there. Nothing that works. That's why people come across the border and, and seek asylum. I get it. But anyway. I'm not anti-immigrant. And I don't have a problem with immigrants coming to this country. They're not taking black folks jobs. There are plenty of jobs out here available. And more jobs being created on a daily basis. There are fire and signs everywhere. They don't pay you much. It all depends on... It all depends... I have, I, have, I have associates who are making who work for. I don't like working for somebody else. I just don't like that. But you all can do what you want to. 
But um, I have associates who are making good, uh, working good jobs in various cities here in the United States. There are so many opportunities out there. You know, just on the side note, I, I meet a lot of people here in Black Hollywood who come here. I don't understand why anybody would go to college and get, get all this education and come here to pursue an acting, singing, dancing career. Where you should be going someplace you can make some money and pursue that shit on the side. And that's just my thoughts and opinions. In the gym, I'm always in the gym working out. And I meet these people who have moved here for the entertainment industry. Yeah, I don't think I want to move someplace where I'm going to be pursuing something where I'm going to be broke all the goddamn time. I, I'd better really pursue something that's going to put some money in my pockets. I like money. I don't know about the rest of y'all. Right, when people, I ever tell my ever somebody say money is the root of all, it, money is the root of, of evil or some bullshit or some that's a bunch of nonsense. You black folks need to get y'all act together. You need money. You go out and have children before you even get any, but you go out and drop babies out your damn coochie before, before you even get a, a, a $10 in the bank. Speaking of such and such. A day ago, I spoke to you all about a homeless guy that was going that goes to my gym. I finally got a chance to get talk to him yesterday in a little bit more detail. Uh, what led to this man being homeless is that he has seven children on child support, and the checks that he was getting were being um, uh, it was going towards child support payments. He ended up having he lost he couldn't afford his apartment or something like that. I'm thinking about the whole time I was standing there think, talking to this man. I was thinking seven. You didn't stop after the first one. And all these women have put you on child support payments and you can't find a job nowhere where you can get paid cash under the table. I didn't say anything. I just kind of looked at him and went on about my workout. I didn't have enough of these sob said stories because you don't have dick control. You can't control, control who, who, who you, you putting your penis in a woman's vagina and impregnating her. I don't even know what else to say. Well, just be stay homeless. You, you, you can't. You're not. You're not smart enough to know how to hit, go out here and help these Hispanics who show up in my house and quite a few show up here. One's supposed to come today. Matter of fact, where is that? At? I guess it's sheet rock installed in this basement. I tore out some panel. You know, shit, look at the mess. I said, "Me get this mess." But anyway, I installed some sheet rock. But these guys, these Hispanics that, that they have worked over here, none of them had green cards here. None of them. We never all illegal. All of them, from the electrician to the plumber to the, all of them. And they came over here working from the yard guy to the, the, all of them. None of them were legal citizens here. None of them. So, ah, I put this one on mute. I wanted this damn thing over here. I'm not working right. What is this? I need a new phone. This is a mess. I need a new phone. You know, but I yeah, I can't get with Donald Trump and his antics. I know some of y'all just really like him for some odd reason. Some of y'all just want to support him and his nonsense. But that whole black jobs thing, what the fuck is this man talking about? I don't get it. There are plenty of jobs to live out here. There are a ton of jobs. A lot of black people don't want to work. There are plenty of opportunities here in the United States. Plenty of opportunities. I tell my nieces and nephews all the time, leave Atlanta. There's so many opportunities someplace else. If y'all can't make it here, go somewhere else. They still stuck here. They need to migrate to someplace else. They need to go cross some borders too. If you're not doing well in the state that you're in, go cross the border into another state and see where we figure, you, figure out what you can do there. Because sitting here in Atlanta, Georgia, Praying for a miracle to happen ain't gonna work. My sister, my nephews, my nieces and nephews are a direct result of bad parenting. My sisters did a horrible job raising them. Horrible, 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 horrible job. This is my foot. Horrible job raising them kids. Horrible. Horrible. 
That's all I can say about that. Just terrible. Left them clueless about life. Anytime you got a parent who is encouraging their children to smoke marijuana in their preteen years, you can smoke marijuana. Okay, these boys are 12, 13, and 14 years of age. Why would you encourage your kids to smoke marijuana? Who does that? My sisters did. Yeah, I don't smoke marijuana. I don't do any drugs at all over here. The closest thing I get is some drug over here, some caffeine in the morning, breakfast in the morning. I'm about to eat some breakfast too. But anyway, I just want to do video back because I buy. So I said Donald Trump mess last night. We're like, oh, God, this mess. But nothing else on TV. <sighs> no, I, I can't get with this whole anti immigration mess. This country needs immigrants. It is a known that we need to have people coming into this country to keep the economy going well. If you don't like your job or you don't have a job or you don't like your income, look in the mirror and blame yourself. Only you control that. Nobody else. You're in control of your own life. Get up off your knees and quit playing to that fake ass Jesus. Oh, and another side note before I say this. I did a video where a friend of mine came over here I said I should give religion another try. All I did was a video about that mess, y'all. I'm very anti-religious. I don't believe in God. I do not believe in Jesus. I don't believe in the Bible, angels, none of that stuff. I have never, ever believed in this child. Even when I was a little kid, I said to my mother, this is fake. She backslapped me across the bed. I never get that mess. And I still jumped up and said, hey, it's still fake. I've never cared for religion, ever. It ain't for me. If it's for you, good. But it ain't for me. Y'all can take that fake mess and you can take that fake mess and ram it up your ass. I don't give a shit about no fake ass Bible, no fake ass Jesus, no ain't none of it. Every religion on planet Earth is fake. And religion doesn't bring me any comfort. In fact, it, it better has helped create the anxiety that I have. I cannot stand that fake ass mess. Don't like it at all. Y'all, if you are a religious person, congratulations. That's on your dumb ass. If you want to go to church and deal with that fake mess, then you will by all means go. I don't care. Everybody I know who's involved in religion is the biggest fool on planet Earth. So much chaos and confusion in their lives when they sit in church every Sunday. No thank you. Because it ain't working for them. It ain't working. You can have that bullshit. That's what I got to say about religion, God, Jesus, angels, and the Bible. A bunch of fucking bullshit. And any other religion you got out there. All right, with that out of the way, I'm going to continue getting my fry. I'm going to make you some pancakes. Actually, I might go pick up some breakfast. There's a place up the street that had some good breakfast. I went and got breakfast somewhere this week. Oh, Barney's. I went to a place called Breakfast at Barney's in downtown Atlanta. I had that appointment, and I went and got breakfast. The breakfast actually was pretty good. I mean, it's just breakfast food I could have made my damn self. They had the same chicken sausage I make right here, same eggs. Uh, I had grits. The grits were actually pretty tasty. I can eat all of them, though. Um, big old bowl of grits. And they had some waffles. The waffles were okay. I have a waffle thing here. I can make my own damn waffles also. I'm not a big fan of eating brunches and breakfast out because it's too expensive. I spent like $30, $40 on that mess. And um, I could have whipped up my own breakfast here for a whole lot less. I'm not a big... I love breakfast when I make it at my house because it's cheaper. Breakfast don't take 10, 15 minutes to cook at the most. And a whole lot cheaper than one of these other places where they got these highest shit. Anyway, let me go use the bathroom today. It's Friday, July 19th. The year is 2024. I'm out of here. You all enjoy the rest of this beautiful Friday. Look forward to reading your comments.